All right, guys, just going to um, quickly hydrate some more of these Jiffy 7s. It is much quicker this way. And while, I'm, while they're hydrating, I'll have a chat with you about some I found in the charity shop. There we go. Right, yeah, right. Hang on, right. Let's get sidetracked. Right. I found this old pamphlet. I mean, it's very old. And it surprises me that no one has picked up on this. It's called Jovian System Eulericulture. And Jovian, you know, Jupiter, picture of Jupiter, look. And it says, oh, jo Jovian System Eulericulture, according to the giant planet planet and the many moons thereof. First published in the year of our Lord 1889 or yeah, eight, yeah 1889. Now this is it's an old one this is a copy obviously but um it, you think about it I mean when I had a quick flick through I've not really studied it properly it's only part of it the rest is indoors. The, um, you've heard of planting by the moon and moon phases and it makes sort of sense in the ground because it raises the, the moon comes by every you know and it, it raises and lowers the tides and stuff like that not sure if it works in container because i did read somewhere it doesn't but you know and you've heard of no dig everyone's doing no dig these days and you've heard of biodynamics this seems to take all of it in and i'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll show you it properly in a minute but just read the first little bit it's quite quite you know oldie worldy looking type parchment stuff but uh, the immense pull of gravity from the largest of all planets cannot be un underestimated when considering the correct, correct time for sowing the crops. Coupled with the pull of the numerous moons, uh, the Galilean moons Europa, Ganymede, Callisto and Io are all larger than our, than our own heavenly body, the tug on the emerging seedling should not be dismissed lightly. lightly. In the following chapters we discovered a way that will put you at the envy of all neighbouring farmers and the like. Follow these simple instructions in the ensuing chapters, sowing, tending, harvesting. Um, yes, it, for four months every year Jupiter falls into a retrograde motion across our skies. This is potentially a good time for sowing and for re-sowing of crops as the pull from the giant is reinforced. The giant planet is the magnet of the solar system. Uh, the hev, the hev, I can't read some of these S's and F's are all mixed up. Aren't they? <laughs> the heaviest of all heavenly bodies it acts like a magnet drawing in blah blah blah. A table is included to include the times at which two or more of the large moons are in alignment or in opposition. Again, advice is given for sowing and harvesting the various classes of produce. And there we are, look, you've got okay. Jovian retrogrades. Sorry, it's a bit outdated now, but I'm sure there's new um, there's new timetables available. These end up these end in the 70s. January the 3rd to April the 18th. April the 10th, July 1974. July to October 75 and so on and it tells you best times for leaf and roots and best times for tending the soils. So, this is saying you're all very familiar isn't it with the moon you know. Jovian moon alignments. Io and Ganymede. Io Ganymede Callisto. Ganymede Europa. Europa Callisto. It goes on big list on all the dates. Oh, there's one there with three, look, Callisto, Europa, Io. So, and yeah, I mean, there's more to it, obviously. And the, you know, the best advice is, it says at the back here, uh, the best time to start gardening by the Jovian gravity is always April the 1st. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, forgive me for that one, guys. Back to sowing the herbs. 